everyone welcome back to my channel code with the fees my name is Afizullah Masudi and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can install Laravel 9 fresh project and also Vue.js version 3 so to start head to the uh, laravel.com and let's go to documentation and in here as you can see Laravel 9.x is already selected and we want to install it using composer so in the list let's select installation via composer and now you can see uh, to install laravel 9 we can just say composer create project laravel slash laravel and then our project name so let's uh, start a terminal or open a terminal well i will install it in my xamp directory and if you are using windows so you can have wamp or either xamp installed in your windows and uh, c directory so let's go to cd opt slash lamp slash htdocs and in here let's say composer create hyphen project and laravel slash laravel and let's name it letter view 3 and press enter so guys our fresh level 9 project has been installed successfully now let's head to the project directory so for that we can say cd letter view 3 or guys before that I have to give some access to this folder and if you are using windows so uh, skip this uh, step because it's not needed for you and if you are using Ubuntu or Linux uh, or any Linux distribution you have to give some access to that folder so let's say sudo chmod dash r and 757 and then view 3 and press enter yeah now let's go to our project directory so letter cd letter view 3 and let's open it with Visual Studio Code. So code dot. And what I will do is put it inside another workspace for me to manage it very easily. So let's put it in here and let's select our browser. And now you can see I can switch between them very easily. Now the next part is guys, let's head to the Visual Studio Code and what we will do is open the terminal well, let's zoom it a little bit for you to see better so I will open the terminal here and in the terminal to install Vue.js version 3 we have to use no, uh, Node.js package managers and uh, instead of Node npm or Node.js package managers we can use yarn package manager also I have both installed and if you want to use them first of all you have to install node.js in your system and if you want to use yarn then you can install yarn using npm well guys to install Vue.js latest version we can just say yarn and then add and we want to install it in our dev dependencies so we can say dash dash dev and then let's say view at next at next for installing the latest version of vjs and then we can say press enter as you guys can see it has been installed successfully and if we check our package.json let's go to package.json you can see now we have this view version 3.2.31 as our dev dependency so guys the next thing is to install uh, a Vue.js compiler and it's a little bit different for Vue.js version 3 and instead of uh, installing a view template compiler we have to install compiler dash sfc so let's install it and we will install it also as our dev dependency so let's say yarn add uh, then hyphen hyphen div and then let's say add view slash 
compiler hyphen sfc and we wa want to install it the latest version as a latest version so we can say at next and this we then we can say enter and in here you can see it shows us the versions of uh, the compilers well we can install the latest version so let's say we want to install 3.2.31 so press enter and you can see it has been also installed successfully and now you can see we have this uh, node modules folder also available in our project which uh, lists all the de dependencies so guys let's close the terminal for now and in here you can see we have now our view compiler also listed in the dependencies so let's close the package.json file also and now we have to set up uh, Vue.js in our app.js file. So we can go to resources, js and app.js. And in here let's press enter. And first of all we have to import our view. So for that we can say import curly braces. And let's create an app. And let's say from view. And in here let's import a component also well we will do that in a moment uh, but before that let's say const app to create our new app and it should equal to the create app that we imported from the view so create app parenthesis curly braces and then we have to mount uh, our laravel blade to this app component so we can do that by saying app dot mount and inside here we can declare the id for that laravel blade or html element so let's say app and save the file will it won't work be because we have to uh, import view in our laravel mix file also so let's do that let's go to webpack.mix.js at the bottom of the uh, files so in here we have to say dot view parenthesis just like that let's close this file and now let's run yarn run watch to compile the changes and see if we have any errors or not so let's open the terminal and in here let's say yarn run watch to compile all the changes well guys for the first time you run yarn run watch it will install some additional dependencies and it will throw you an error which is not actually an error you can just run yarn run watch again and this time it will hopefully uh, run successfully as you guys can see it compiled successfully without any errors now we can close this file and the next part is to let's create a component and import it in our view blade or sorry laravel blade to check if our view.js is working just fine so we can import it after creating our app so let's say import and we want to name it example component and let's say from dot slash components which which is the folder we will create in a moment and then the file example component dot view and after that we have to uh, add this component to the app we created so we can do that after we create the app so in middle between here so in here let's say app dot component and then we want to create an example component so example hyphen component and comma we want to use the example component we just imported so save the file and we have an error because we don't have this example component now let's create it let's right click on js folder and new folder let's say components and inside this components folder we want to say new file and let's say example component.view 
and inside here let's open our template tags and let's say we want an h1 hello world and let's also export it so script tags and we want to say let's say setup and parenthesis well instead of data we have to say like this and in Vue.js version 2 you had to use data and then return the objects but in Vue.js 3 you have to say setup then uh, colon parenthesis and it should be an arrow function and then we can say parenthesis curly braces and then we, we can re return some objects so let's create an object by the name of title and in here let's say how to install Laravel 9 and Vue.js 3 let's import this component at the top in our template also let's cut it create a div and paste it and let's say h2 and double curly braces and then title to render the title save it and the build was successfully and now we have to use this example component in our laravel blade so what we can do is go to our views file and welcome blade let me close the sidebar for you to see better and in here we don't need these styles so let's remove them but we need our CSS file which we compiled so we can do that by saying link and double curly braces and in here let's use the asset function and now let's say CSS slash app dot CSS and we don't need this div in the body also so let's remove it and let's create our own div with the ID of app and inside this div we want to load the component so let's say example hyphen component and press tab and at the bottom we have to import our scripts also so script tag and let's declare a source for it double curly braces then use asset function of laravel and then let's say js slash app dot js now save the file I think we are good to go now let's head to the browser and check our code if it works or not so let's open a new tab here and before we go to the uh, project uh, URL we have to run our ZAMP so let's go to the ZAMP and in here I will just say sudo ZAMP we'll, let's open a new terminal and then here let's say sudo lamp slash lamp start and it's working now let's go to the browser localhost 3000 slash and now let's say laraview 3 slash public and as you guys can see our component is working just fine and we if we inspect the elements and go to console you can see we don't have any errors and if we check the view you can see we have our this example component loaded so guys this means our Vue.js version 3 is working just fine and I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you enjoyed watching the video don't forget to give the thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel for support so thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video